on this episode, we got some goods that came in, like here, the injector, the key series injectors, because it's gonna need that on the B20 VTEC, brand new grams fuel pump from downshift supply, the throttle that we're gonna use, and of course the VTEC line, yes, and we'll discuss or show you guys all the stuff that we do, like we plug this and get ready before the machine shop, have the port match on the manifold to the head, yes, and we'll show you how of how offside it is started with you guys we show you how we port matched all the details that we do yes including the throttle yes here the throttle bore and we'll talk about the most complete video on how to b20 vtech lsv tech yep let's go <laughs> Okay, first things first, here's a new page. I had to make a new one because I lost control of the old page when the personal Facebook got hacked, so I had to make this one. Okay, we got a price list here of head porting, engine build labor, cam degree, intake manifold porting, basically everything that we're doing on this B20 VTEC, the price list is there for the labor. Yes, we try to constantly post good stuff at the page. Here we posted this intake, the short ram that we use, of the shop short ram, and the comment section was had a good discussion it led to an intake test we tested the stock air box short ram versus cold air and of course it made it even better so we did another test and of course including the engine bay temperature test from standstill and moving forward so here you can see we're showing you the stuff that doesn't make the channel but if you don't have facebook we also got our instagram here here's my instagram i do all the posts there too constantly updated just like the page so you guys can comment on instagram if you don't have facebook that's all good link for both will be in the description below and for short form content our tiktok is also active i constantly post good stuff there too so you guys want to check it out it's over there and i always try to constantly post good stuff there too so all three links will be in the description below all right so let's start here the head is fully ported it's all done as you can but you can see the core shift is still there that's the problem with 99 or 98 onwards the casting the core shift is way way more than the earlier casting here we're showing you the dowels the stock one for the b16 and we're going to remove this for the vtec oil line then we're going to plug that small titty bitty there to we're going to plug it so that you know it'll it'll do VTEC, sorry, all right? So here's another angle, this is where the chambers are all cleaned up. We smoothed it out. We're gonna talk more about that a little later, all the stuff that we do for all engines. And we have a video here of the chamber to polish or not, we discussed that we had a, have a good video of that here in the public video, but on the members only, we have an even better one. This is the exact same head that made 186 wheel horsepower on the B16 with just ITR cams. So let's continue here, as you can see, the intake is done good. The short side is, you know, got, we got it to how we, I want it, how I, how I like the short end, short side smooth and, you know, contoured properly. And you can see the chambers are all smoothed out, no sharp edges, so no room for hot spots to cause pre-ignition or to limit you from your from the timing or you know from running trying to run lean to get more power you gotta make sure everything is good here so it's not promoting pre-ignition here now it's all here you can see now my colleague drill, drilled and tapped the plug there and drilled the dowel holes this is what we do to so that it matches the non vtec and here we remove this for the vtec line we we, re we relocate the dowel so that we can use a B20 head gasket instead of a B16 or so that we don't have to buy a Cometic head gasket for 84 bore. Let me show you here, see this? The dowel is now gonna be here. The B16 are the VTEX on the other side. And I need a favor, guys. Hit the like button. If, because the more likes the video get, the more activity it shows to the algorithm. It gets spread out to a wider audience. It helps the channel big time. So it gives me more chances to continue improving my content. Help the channel, guys. And of course, if you haven't subscribed, you gotta subscribe. This way you can check out all the other videos here on the playlist. Because we have a substantial collection. Over 300 videos 
this technical and of course the member section yes that's for the hardcore and yes for the hardcore you get the members only here you can join we got over 30 videos of ultra hardcore technical stuff including dyno and dyno tuning yes including the chamber work stuff that we discussed earlier is over at the member section only all right yeah okay now we continue here let's center this on the phone on the view okay now here get the dowel so we're gonna try a b16 a used b16 head gasket this is where it is on uh, in stock form or in standard it's on the vtex on the exhaust side for the dowels let me show you guys here and it's you know like some would actually use a conversion dowel to be able to use the bcc head gasket which is you know sometimes it's okay but since the bore is bigger the edge of the chamber the cut on the chamber the bore cut on the gasket is gonna be like a thin blade that's gonna easily promote pregnation so yes you gotta run the same bore as the block and you know the gasket so instead of getting a Cometic 84 or 85 millimeter head gasket, we get an P8R B20 84 millimeter head gasket. That's why we we relocate the dowel to be like the B20 non VTEC here. See the dowels on the intake side. Yep. Now let's put the dowel back in. Let's put it here. It's been redrilled by my colleague. There you go. As you can see, the bore is 84, so it's way bigger than the chamber. That's going to be perfect for the block. But here's a one trick that we do. After resurfacing, this edge here becomes really sharp, and that's going to be prone to pre-ignition. And all, all the B20 VTEX that we do, if we don't counterboard the chamber, because, you know, it'll lower the compression, we actually round off those edges and I barely talk about that. And that's why locally some actually replicated Jasper's engine, but performed one second slower. And we made a really complete video on how to do the stuff for the B20 or B18 LS and it has 36,000 views. So that's complete. We'll put it in the description below. Here now with the intake fully welded up, we've actually crudely enlarged it to around 68 or near 70 millimeter on the throttle but we're gonna do the finishing touch later here we're gonna port match this head the head to the intake and the gasket we have the video it will be in the description below but of course the members only we actually did show a video on how we can cut the how we cut the gasket for you guys so check it out now here let's put the intake on the head sorry now we scribe a line we do this so that we can align it when you use the nut and bolt to the gasket. And some said we would need a dowel. You need a dowel if the intake manifold only has two bolts. This has 10 bolts, it barely moves. So it's gonna be fine. Here, we use four bolts and it doesn't move. As you can see here, on the left side, you can see it's offset, so we gotta port match that. But now you see the importance of why we ink up the last half inch of the port before the flange because on the right side if we did touch that it would have been gone you know way bigger than the head and then you're going to enlarge the head to match it and the next thing you know you've hogged out the port entry so that's no good here we have the line now we can port match it without touching the the right side on the bottom that's already quite matched to the head as, as it stands so yep there's almost port matched but we gotta do it more perfectly so now let's go to the porting bench here it is we've started with the carbide the larger areas that we need to cut up so that's matched now so now we, when we make a pass with the 80 grit it's quicker and then the finally 120 grit see this blue side here if we touched if we didn't ink it up and we touched it it would have gone way bigger than the head so now you would have to enlarge the head to match the intake, so that's no good. This is why on all the intake manifolds we port, we make sure we ink up the last half inch of the flange so that we don't go overboard. We'll only touch it when we're port matching it like this. 
Now here, this is 120 grit. We're smoothing it out. Because we've done the roof side. So quicken this up, like in, you know, time lapse so it doesn't get too boring. As you can see now it's gonna be perfectly matched to the head. That is gonna be so good, We're gonna make it more efficient and it's gonna run really good. And it's actually a big, big difference versus not part matched because we know locally some don't really do this well and so they don't get the performance. As you can see here, it's looking good. See the ink side that we didn't touch got removed. It Well, it got removed because it did a few passes, but it didn't enlarge it. So now, wait up. Let me time lapse. Let's move it to the throttle side now. We're smoothing it out. So the opening is actually 72 millimeter because the throttle will be 70 millimeter. So we offset it a bit and we explain that on the clean bench when, after we wash this up. Yes, it's all ready, ready for wash up. And now here on the workbench, here you can see, it's all good and ready, yeah. It's actually now really clean all through and through and you can just assemble it safely, no problem. Let me turn the intake to the side of the throttle. Wait, let me clip the phone to the stand here. Here, you see, here, the reason why we do 72 millimeter bigger, which is bigger than the 70 millimeter throttle is actually to give an, an, an anti-reversion step. So halfway through is actually a bit of 68. So it's 70, 72, then it goes 70 and then 68 and then the rest of the platinum. As you can see with the gasket here, it's one millimeter all around bigger. So that's why it's 72 millimeter versus 70 millimeter throttle. We always do this on all the manifolds that run 70 millimeter throttle. On the other build videos, we don't really get to mention it, but now we're mentioning because all of the engines that we do, we do that. It helps the anti-reversion, makes the engine even more efficient, and runs really good. Yep, here it is. Oh, looking good, right? Yes, now, all, all we need to do is have the head machined for all the resurfacing, the valve seat and all that. Then it's gonna be ready for full assembly. Oh yeah, it's gonna be so, so good. Yep, and here's the new parts that we got to help out the SIR because the SIR is like more than 25 years old, you know? So aside from the throttle, which is a given, the owner, I told the owner, you have a choice of between Walbro or Grams, and they got this from Downshift Shift Supply, Carlo. They have the good stuff, the brand new from Skunk too. So we're gonna make sure the fueling is actually good and sufficient. And here, a K-Series 320 CC injectors. This is from a K24. It's been pre-flowed by Orlando, the owner the, the one we got it from and the top hats so it's gonna be good it's gonna be perfect for this b20 vtec that's mainly a standard or stock b16 so yep we're gonna finish up the engine on the next episode and yes you can definitely click it over here